William Reinhardt, born June 29, 1905, emigrated 1910, age four, passage on the Rotterdam. Born in Milan, Italy, he lived his first four years in Stuttgart, one of 12 children. In America, he worked his way up from a lowly billing clerk to traffic manager of three divisions of an international steamship company. Now 92, he lives alone near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, having lost his life, wife, Lisa, 24 years ago. My father came here first. He was in the chemical laboratory glassware industry. He was an engraver and our family history in that business dates back to 1611. My two oldest brothers were both officers in the German army and they told him about the imminence of World War I. They suggested to my father that if he wanted to leave now, leave now was the time. That was 1909. So my father came to this country to get a home for us and establish us. He was employed by a New York company, which represented the parent company where he worked in Stuttgart. We came the following year. My mother must have been a saint because she had the courage to bring eight children by herself to America. Her voice was so soft. When she scolded you, it hurt more than a physical punishment. We came over on the Hamburg American line vessel, the Rotterdam. We also left from the port of Rotterdam. She gathered us and we got aboard ship. I was four years old and that's the only European remembrance I have. We had very bad weather crossing the big pond as I got to call it in later years. And it took 21 days. I was the first one to get seasick because we were cooped up. We had the lowest cabins in the ship, two cabins, one for my mother and my three sisters and one for my four brothers and me. I still can't fathom how we got along in such close quarters. Then at some point we docked and they told me we were at Ellis Island. The health department came aboard and we received vaccinations. We didn't know a word of English. Then we took a small ferry from Ellis Island to the Battery. As we got off the ferry, our father met us and it was just overwhelming. We hadn't seen our father for more than a year. And I really got to know him that first day. It was both exciting and wonderful. We walked up Broadway, our father and mother in the lead and the eight little ducklings following behind. And I saw the big buildings. We didn't have big buildings in Germany and was, and what amazed me in New York, I saw a trolley car drawn by two horses. Then we got an elevated subway train and all of a sudden we were in the sky. Here we were 21 days on the water and now we were sailing through the sky with water underneath us, which was the East River. I know I never stopped crying until we came to ground level in Brooklyn. It was an immigrant German neighborhood where my father had a cold water flat on the third floor of an apartment building. After we were here a short time, the landlord came one night with two big Tammany guys from the New York Democratic Party. They offered our father a proposition. If he would sign up to become a Democrat and guarantee that all his children would be Democrats, they would get him citizenship papers within six months. At the time, you had to wait five years before you got your citizenship papers. And I just got up amongst all the families sitting at the dinner table and I said, Father, don't you do that because if anything happens, we'll be sent back to Germany. The Tammany men left. My father didn't accept their offer. To this day, I vote Republican.